Today we are going to see how to connect two or more NeoPixel rings in series and interface them with microcontroller. We will need a microcontroller. So we will use it Mega 328P mounted on Arduino Uno R3 board. We have already made the power connections to the breadboard. So, it's the time to bring our hero out. The NeoPixel boards. One with 12 LEDs and another with 16 LEDs. If you want to know the basics of NeoPixel boards, then you must watch our part 1. Now let's start wiring them. Let's first make the power connections to both the boards. Red wire for plus 5 volts and black for 0 or ground. The signal will be flowing out of the Arduino board through any of the digital pins. So, we have directed the flow to pin 6. We will let this flow to reach the input of first board through a wire. Colored yellow. Now the second board is also thirsty. To extinguish its thirst we will direct the flow to the second board via a cool blue colored wire. Let's run the simulation and check if it's working, as per our assumption. The first board is working fine, but the second isn't. Is there any error in the code? No, the code is fine. Then what's the issue? Oh, we directed the flow in the output pin of the board, and the board didn't like the input from exit. Let's rectify our mistake. Let's zoom a bit. Now let's run and check. Now it's working fine as expected. And we have successfully connected two boards with only one signal wire from microcontroller. This can save money and leave pins for other purposes. If you want to know how to connect three or more boards in concentric circular patterns to make a decorative lighting artwork, then watch out part three.